What's up, y'all? Good morning. Hi. I'm Emily. This is Daddy. Thanks, baby. Welcome, everybody, to um, another episode of the Kid in the Vlog. I purposely put the camera by my bed Whoa. last night. So that as soon as I woke up, the first thing that I could do was vlog. If you've never seen my channel before, the way it usually goes is I'll intro the video, usually in a pretty good mood. Um, I tell you about what's going to happen in the video, and then we move on to actually doing it. Oh my gosh, Emily. We try to. What, what she do? She kicked me in the face. Oh man. We try not to be too political in the vlog. Um, but just following the deaths of Ahmaud Arbery and George Floyd, it's kind of tough just to stand idly and not say anything about that. I know that people come to this page, um, you come to get a little bit of joy, you come to get a little bit of insight, um, you come to get a little bit of love. Like, I understand that. So I won't dwell on it, but I wasn't about to let this entire vlog episode go by. And not acknowledge that. Mm -mm. I can't pretend like everything's alright. Because it's not. So to everybody out there who's feeling um, a mix of hopelessness, desperation, anger, sadness, numbness. I don't really have any advice right now because I'm right there with you. But what I'm going to try to do today is I'm going to try to hold on to a little bit of joy. I don't want to record this vlog episode, I'm going to be honest with y'all. But I think I have to. Because even in the most uncertain of times, we, we always got to press on. So I love y'all. Hope y'all being safe. Hope you're taking care of your mind, heart, and spirit. And we're going to move on with today's episode, alright? Alright. No, a tiger. A tiger? Yeah. Oh. Look at my baby. Mm, not me, yeah, baby. Are you Le Tigre? No. Your butt is so close to my face. Oh, you it's changed. Okay. It. I changed. She pooped. I knew she pooped last night. Oh, when she I went to go fresh. When I went to go check on her, I just smelled the, the strong stench of, of poop. She had a like, log in there? Nope. <laughs> oh, it was a smushy kind? Yep. She had soup in her butt? It was black. Why was it black? Well, it wasn't black. It just wasn't like, it was a little dark. I like to be something else. You had swamp butt, boo boo? Did you have swamp booty? Not booty. Did you have swamp booty? No. no. I think you did. No. I think you did. No. Man, we go through this dilemma every morning where we don't want to eat the food that we have but we don't want to spend money eating out and it's always for breakfast what we want to eat for breakfast mm. <laughs> See? those salmon frittatas you made the other day them joints was bomb oh, yeah. she just alexa just man she really be on one sometimes nobody say her name and she still cut on is she spying on us? She's spying on us. Movie is obsessed with the Insta stories. What to be a butterfly? For those of y'all that don't know what Insta stories are, if you go on Instagram, it's like the Instagram Snapchat feature with the little 15 second videos. They got different filters where you can be different things. Like she and I knew a session is pretending to be fruits and vegetables. What are you? I'm, I'm a corn. <laughs> Ooh, what are you? So freaking ferocious. Um, Cool. Yeah, pickle. <laughs> I'm a tomato. I'm orange. You're a pineapple. It's good to know. Hey, I'm a pineapple too. Pineapple, pineapple, pineapple. Let's do it together. Oh, I'm a baby pineapple. Oh, I'm a big pineapple. <coughs> <coughs> That's a strawberry. Sound as a butterfly, mate. Not tigers, not flowers, snuggly worms. 
girl. She's the queen of deflection. Yeah, when she don't know her answer, she just starts saying things. See, y'all get an inside look at parental warfare. No, Amy's tired of her, so she just turned her back. And now I got to deal with her. Okay, get off me. 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 Let her play with her favorite parent. Leave me alone. Get off of me then. Get off. Get off. Get off of me. I don't want to snuggle. I don't want to snuggle. I want to snuggle. No. Go snuggle with daddy. No. She don't love me. Get off of me. I like cereals. That's what she <laughs> loves. I like chocolate cereal, mommy. All right, don't go telling people to give you chocolate cereal for breakfast. Instacart order gave us the wrong cereal. Yeah, man. We, we weren't going to send that back. We ordered the vanilla that gave us the chocolate. It's just a little piece of chocolate in there, cereal. Does she ever eat them? Uh, like, I, I don't think it's real sweet chocolate, so I don't think no, she likes it. it's dark chocolate. Yeah. Why you treat me so nasty? Yeah, yeah. Go say sorry and give him a hug. Go. Sorry, Dad. Go give him a hug. Yeah. Go give him a hug. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Decided to order Silver Diner because nobody wanted to cook breakfast this morning. Let's see what we got here. Still warm. Mmm. Eggs over easy. This is Boo's food. Oh yeah, she got her some potatoes, some eggs, some pancakes. Baby, you hungry? Grab some toilet tissue and wipe. Yeah, wipe yourself, Boo. -Boo. I grab a bigger piece of tissue. Got my shoulder covering her butt. Did you wash your hands? Wait a minute. What's wrong? Hold on, hold on. Did you wash your hands? I'll help you with your diaper. Go fix it. Go wash your hands. Where's your stool? Come here. Let me help you with your diaper. Come here, let me fix you. Look how blow the diaper is, look. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Here, you hold the camera. Here, you hold it. And I'll fix your butt, okay? <laughs> Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. We're going to the house. Oh. There you go. Jeez. All right. Go wash your hands. <laughs> Oh, you got a flash? Okay. Oh, be careful. Good job. Mommy had one ready for you. Good job. Now I can get an M and M. Yeah, you can get an M and M. What color would you like? You can eat it. Look at one. Uh oh. You want to throw it in the trash and get another one? You can get it. Oh, a good choice. Excellent choice, madam. So, Booby saw her book bag and decided that it was time to go to school. But I'm, I'm just about to chill over here by the window. It's where I get the best light. It's no, easier. it's too cold. It's only cold in here because we got the AC kicking. It's not cold outside. No, it's school time. Okay, fine. Where are you want to go to school? Let's go to school. Wait, why I got to go to school too? You don't have to go to school. I'm being dragged to school. I got a whole master's no. degree. I don't need no more school. Can I sit down no, in a big chair? The pink chair. Sit down on the pink chair. My guys. back can't take the pink chair, no, Amy. Sit down in that chair. This some bullshit. You need to know that. Say yay. Yay. Let it go slow. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Keep going. Because she has to erase the letter. Uh-uh. Start with the first letter. What's that? Slow down a little bit, boo boo. You spare the bit. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum makes my hand stick to my cheeks. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. Uh, bubble gum. Ooh, bubble gum. You're yeah. sticky, 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 sticky bubble gum. So you wipe your eyes, it's time for a nap.
<laughs> hey, do you know how to draw a happy face? Draw some eyes. One, another eye. One more eye. Two, can I get a smile? Can I get a pretty smile? Good job, can I get a nose? Oh, good job, boo-boo. Can I get some eyebrows? Good job. Can I get some hair? Mm, I can't. One arm. Two arms. Good job, boo-boo. Draw the baby. Draw the baby? Mm -hmm. Am I going to draw you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me turn it around so I can really focus on what I'm doing here. All right. So this is going to be the baby. It's not drawing a scale, okay? Mm -hmm. All right. As long as you know. You have... Kind of like a gallon sized milk jug shaped head. You have a really big forehead right here. Almost a five head. Your entire face is at the bottom of your head. So, let me see. Let me get this side. Let me get this side. You have these really cute cheeks and you have beautiful beads in your hair. You have a really pretty nose and you have beautiful eyebrows and you have cute lips. Cute lips. Cute lips. All right, so let's draw Emery. First, we're gonna draw your pretty hair. All right, that's good. Next, since your whole face is at the bottom of your head, I'm gonna draw your little almond-shaped eyes. I'm gonna make them look a little angry because it's you, and that's that's what you do. Adorable little button nose. I'm gonna draw these little lips. They're so plump. And I'm gonna draw this so people can know you got adorable fat little cheeks. And you have perfect eyebrows because daddy's genetics is awesome. So I'm gonna draw them things. Look like you just got them threaded. And I'm gonna put a few of your little beads in your face because it's kind of your signature. I'm gonna draw some earrings on the side. And in this hand, I'm going to give you a bag of chips. Mm -hmm. And in this hand, um, I'm going to give you someone else's beverage because that's usually what's in that hand. What do you think? Is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. You want to draw? What do you want to draw next? Mommy. Mommy? Okay, let's draw mommy. Mommy yes. has a little tiny egg head, so I think this circle will be the best. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm creating over here. Who thinks it is, Mommy? Who thinks it is? So, mommy loves her hoop earrings. So, so let's put those on first. Got to draw those baby hairs. Okay. Yeah, mommy has nice edges, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to give mommy a bun right up here. Because that's, that's her business. Unlike you and daddy, mommy does not have a big forehead. So we're going to draw... Her eyes right here. Who the is mine? Because despite what she says, she's me. always minding someone else's business. So she's looking over here at this circle. And we're gonna give her eyebrows a little bit of an arch just to capture that good judgment that can only come from mommy. Mommy's nose kind of does one of these numbers. Whoop, whoop. So we're gonna put that. And we're gonna give her a little bowl. Mommy, you could never look ugly. That nose, however, can. So let's do that. <laughs> Let's do that one again. Mommy has a bigger bottom lip than a top lip, so we're gonna do a big bottom lip and a little teeny top. Mommy also has really fat cheeks, so we're gonna give her a little bit. We're gonna make this one bigger, cause she's chewing right here. Probably eating some food off my plate. Look. What did you get here? All right, go show mommy. Go show mommy. Oh, go show her. Not bad. Who's this? Well, that, that's Emery. Oh. <laughs> Who's this? That was uh, me. She drew me. She drew you? Yeah. That's good. That's really good, right? When my daughter becomes an adult, if she ever tries to get a little too big for her britches, I'll remind her that on this day, I wiped her butt and some cereal crumbs fell from betwixt her little butt cheeks. Yes, butt cheeks. No. Yes. We said no. Butt cheeks. No. 
Yeah. Ooh, ooh. They have a. No. Um, All right. So this new yelling back thing that she does is really cute right now because she's two. But we're gonna stop that because behavior that isn't corrected at two turns into behavior that is very hard to stop at three. Hey. Boo boo, you don't yell at daddy, okay? Okay. Look at me. Where are your eyes? Where are your eyes? You don't yell at daddy, okay? Okay. Say so yes, daddy. Yes, daddy. Okay. It's always hard to try to figure out how and where to discipline her because she don't she doesn't always understand why what she just did was wrong. And like at this age, they just a little uh, they don't have a firm concept of like consequences being because of something that they just did. What you doing? Man, she doing the most like the whole yelling thing. That fake cry. Yeah. Stop. She's starting to do like this yelling in my face thing that I, I can't let that fly. Uh -oh. man. You yelled in daddy's face? I think she Everybody. doesn't understand that that's not okay. Did you yell in daddy's face? Uh -huh. Big girls don't yeah, do that, okay? Okay. okay? And we're gonna okay? put it on. Look at that fake cry. <laughs> okay? Say, I'm sorry, Daddy. I'll <laughs> never do that again. Say, I'll <laughs> never do that again. Sorry, Daddy. I'll not do that again. Okay. <laughs> Don't say all. Oh. I know you said, oh, don't do that. There was an episode of a vlog where I said, um, I don't know why, I don't understand why you never see YouTubers disciplining their children. And like, as time has gone by, I'm starting to understand why. There's no group of people that are more judgmental than other parents. Everybody who just heard that knows exactly what I'm talking about. And all of us have been guilty of it, and all of us have been victims of it. And though our family here, like y'all are amazing, the comment sections in YouTube can be a really nasty place. And what often happens is people like to give unsolicited parenting advice based on what they think is best because that's what was effective for their child at the time. And you know, everybody who ever had a kid automatically believes that they're an expert. And you know that that ain't true. I'm under the belief that you got the right to discipline your kids however you see fit. Our personal style is to nip behaviors in the bud. It's not always a ra raised voice, it's just always a firm voice. And the way we do it in our house is we let you, we ask you what you just did. We give you a moment to recognize what you did wrong and say it for yourself. And if you can't say it, then number one A is we tell you what you just did wrong. Then we tell you why it was wrong. And then we explain to you how you should not do that again. Booby takes pretty well to discipline. She's at this age where she's trying us a little bit. And that's cool because we both built for it. We don't really have to pop her or hit her because if I yell at her, her life is over. Like she's devastated. It's pretty much the worst thing that could possibly happen to her in her little world. I grew up in a house where things were kind of explained to me for the most part, but my family's from South Carolina and down there a lot of times the model is children are to be seen and not to be heard. And I don't think that was the best thing. I mean, granted, back then folks worked with what they had. So that's no indictment on them, but now that we know better, we actually have to do better. And one part of doing better is understanding that your child is a human being and that your child has feelings and emotions and they're not always under your control. I just find as parents sometimes we get most frustrated when we can't control our children. If you're listening to this and you don't have a kid, I'll tell you this. Not many people can make you hit the roof like your child can. They will take you from zero to the most pissed off you've ever been in the shortest amount of time that's ever been recorded. So I gotta go back and I gotta start looking at the little things that I might do to reward that kind of behavior or encourage that behavior and I have to stop it. Because my mind tells me if I up the aggression, if I yell a little bit louder, if I'm a little more stern then maybe she'll listen. But that's not how people work. The therapist in me understands that that's just something that I'm trying to do to make myself feel like I'm doing a better job as a parent. That's not effective. I said in a sit down vlog about my dad and a lot of you all disagree respectfully and I completely understand why you did. You made some amazing points, but I said what I said. Children don't owe their parents anything. As a parent, you owe your child everything. That's going to be it for us today. Um, it was a tough one. Um, man, hug your children. Hug your family, 
get involved in the politics in your cities. Stay vigilant. Stay safe. Stay informed. Um, Uh, I'll end up going on a rant and I won't add any positivity every everything is negative right now um, you can go anywhere on social media or anywhere in the internet and you can get your fix of negativity not not here man like this vlog yeah it's it's me Noemi and boobies vlog but without y'all it's nothing it's nothing and we call y'all family. It's not some cute thing to get more subscribers or to get more people to pay attention to what we're doing. Like, we're not out for attention. If that, we'd be doing pranks and stuff if we cared about that. We just want to make content that makes people feel good. It makes people think. It makes people just dig into themselves a little different. It makes people ask questions so you can live a better life, man. Like, that's what it's about. I don't give a damn if we never hit a million subscribers. I don't I don't care as long as we're proud of what we're doing and y'all can come here every Sunday and just grab a piece of joy, like that's worth it. Like not in our house, man. Not negativity. When I say I mean all of us, you included. Not in our house, not negativity today. If you angry, if you mad, if you sad, if you numb, me too. Me too. But um I think now is a really good time to look inward. I think now is a really good time to think. And I think now is a really good time to look at family, look at friends, and bring them closer. Well, coronavirus is also bring them within 10 feet because you got to respect federal guidelines. Man, I love y'all. I'm praying for y'all. And uh, we'll see you next Sunday. Be well.